right guys, look at this. This is amazing. This is actually a pretty special model for a couple of reasons. First, I absolutely love Futurama. I've been watching it for years and it's gotta be one of my favorites. And it is very unique because um, I find it to be one of the only uh, animated comedy shows like this that uh, really makes me feel for the characters. So Futurama will always hold a special place in my heart. So I knew that I had to do something Futurama related for one of my upcoming videos and I landed on the Planet Express ship. And here it is. This thing looks amazing. And I'll get to the next reason that it's so special in just a second. So first of all, just take a look at this thing. My wife did an amazing job finishing this. It is perfectly smooth and it feels like um, a toy that you would buy somewhere. It is just amazing. And then of course her paint job, as always, is just spectacular. I mean, can you guys see this logo back here? That is crazy amounts of detail. So I'm impressed both by the printer and my wife for being able to paint something that tiny. So as you saw in the footage just a second ago, I modeled this in Fusion 360. It took me a little more than three hours to create this thing from start to finish. Um, I printed it out on my Robo 3D R1 and it took roughly 10 hours to print all of the pieces. And then I handed it off to my wife for painting and she did an amazing job as usual. It took her several days of work to um, sand this down and paint it the way that you see it now. She used a combination of airbrush and normal brush painting techniques. Um, she used an airbrush for the uh, base coat here and then all of the other details that you see are um, painted on with a brush and acrylic paints. Okay guys, and as I mentioned earlier, um, this is a very special model and so the second reason that this is special is that I'm going to be sending this to Joel, the 3D printing nerd. So Joel, if you're watching, high five. Expect to see this very soon on your um, Fan Mail Fridays because I know that you're a huge Futurama fan as well and I actually don't know many other Futurama fans so we gotta stick together on this one, right? So I will be sending this out to him um, right after I'm done filming this video. And that's actually why my wife took the time to do all the extra sanding to get this as smooth as possible. And I really can't get over this, you guys. Um, it looks amazing. I don't know how well it comes across on the video there, but um, there are pretty much zero visible layer lines and you can't feel them at all. Okay guys, well, I will leave it at that. Um, I apologize that this was not a typical video of mine. It was a little bit unorganized and as most of you have noticed, the um, set behind me has changed and the lighting is not great. I recently moved rooms. Um, I just posted a vlog a couple days ago um, kind of showing off and explaining um, what's going on here. Um, so I'm kind of in the interim and haven't really got this room set up, so that's why it looks the way that it does. So this room will be where I am filming my upcoming videos, but expect the set to improve drastically and the lighting will get better. Alright guys, thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.